In today's video, I'm going to give you an honest explanation and review into Meta's back-end developer professional certificate offered on Coursera. As one of Meta's most popular courses, I'm going to take you inside the certificate, tell you what you should expect to learn by the end of completing the course, and of course, answer the single question that everyone thinking about the certificate wants to know. Is it ultimately worth it to help me achieve my goals? So let's get started right off the top and knock out some of the biggest things to know about this course before actually diving inside the course, starting with what backend development actually is and diving a little bit more into salary and expectations and what you could actually become if you go through this course and become a success story on the other side. Simply put, backend developers are the creators of the behind the scenes work of a website. Behind the scenes of a website consists of three things, a server, an application, and a database. Backend developers build and they maintain the technology that powers these three components, which enables the user facing side to exist. The internet contains nearly 2 billion websites and that number grows every single day. Talk about some good job security for backend developers. All right, let's talk about money. How much could you be making? I specifically want to focus on the beginning of your career. If you're watching this video, you're watching about a very beginner certificate. So you're probably in a position where you're looking at entry level backend development jobs. For this, I really took into consideration expectations and where you're likely coming from. However, the numbers are still great. We're looking at about $71,000 a year from 68 to 92 K, depending on where you live, it's a really comfortable range. And that's with a high degree of confidence that if you can land a position, you'll be somewhere in this, which is an excellent starting salary. However, there's more. Let's go to the BLS. The Bureau of Labor Statistics is the most credible website on future career growth in different fields, and it pegs web developers and digital designers, which is the category that backend developers fall into with an astounding 23% growth. To put this into perspective, the average career field grows about 5% a year. They're pegging 23 over the next 10. By now, you know a few things. If you're in the right place, the salary is really good and the job prospects are amazing. Now let's talk about this course and if it can help you actually get there. The structure of this course is that it's a professional certificate. It doesn't prove anything except that you've gone through a coursework designed by Meta, which is one of the most reputable names of the business, and you've completed the work that they've put you through. However, you're going to be able to tell a great story when you get through because of the details contained inside. There are nine courses that make up the certificate. You'll be able to take this in five to seven months as it's a self-paced online only course. It is titled to be a course for beginners specifically. However, a fair warning, if you are coming in with absolutely no knowledge, you may get a little bit frustrated with some of the terms and it could take you a bit longer to get through the course. Don't worry, it is literally designed from that perspective. Keep going, you can do it. On the other side, if you have, say, three to four years of maybe college course experience in a computer science major, you might still be a beginner in the field, not having your first job yet, but some of the concepts may be explained a little too simply for your liking. So you'll find a happy medium in between the absolute beginner and someone still in the beginning stages of their backend development career. We'll talk about the value and if it's worth it all at the end, but one of the best parts about this course is its price point. At $49 a month, it's one of the best values you can get out there for a paid course in backend development. And I'll leave a link in one of the early lines of the description of this video. You can actually test it out for seven days free with Coursera. So there's a great opportunity for you to sample with actually no commitment going into it. However, let's talk through in detail the nine sections of this course to see if it's something that could be right for you. So inside the professional certificate, one professional certificate broken into nine courses, and you should take these in sequential order for understanding as it progressively builds upon the knowledge that you gain earlier on in the course. Course number one is the introduction to backend development. It is one of the smallest sections and you'll get a basic overview as to what backend development is. We already talked about it somewhat in this video, but you'll dive a little bit more into the technical aspects 
JavaScript, HTML, CSS are covered in here. And it ends with a graded assessment, which is a common theme in almost every single one of these courses that make up the certificate. Course number two is titled Programming in Python. And this is one of the most in-depth sections of the whole course. And it comes naturally as the second step is Python is one of the core languages that you'll use as a future backend developer. You'll learn how to recognize and handle common errors, implement data structures, learn about programming paradigms, modules, libraries, tools, and so much more. It's about 44 hours worth of learning Python, and it's absolutely essential for you to understand at this stage in the game. Once you spend weeks working through course two, you'll be on course three, which is version control. Version control talks all about how to work with other developers. Inside, you'll learn how to use and create a GitHub repository, and you'll actually get inside examples from meta developers as to how they work and collaborate in the same type of environment. Course four puts you through an introduction to databases, which are absolutely critical. Course five is another big one. It's using the Django web framework. This is the single biggest course in the entire professional certificate. And there's a good reason for it. The Django web framework is one of the most common solutions to develop a web server. This section of the course actually gives you a hands-on opportunity to put together and administer a web application using the Django framework. Once you get through course five, you'll focus on APIs in course number six. Course seven is called the full stack and it takes you outside slightly of the work that you do in backend development. This has gotten some really positive reviews though because it is good to see different perspectives in development and not just focus on the back end. And that's what this kind of forces you to branch out and understand. Once you see the outside perspective, you'll launch smoothly into course eight which is the back end development capstone. Like any good capstone course, it takes the knowledge that has built off of each other as you've gone and really communicates that to you through a difficult project to pile all of that together. You'll take on the challenge of creating a comprehensive Django web app. This will tie everything together by making use of APIs and connecting your system to a database really a comprehensive project for you to take out and show others in an interview process what you've accomplished yourself. And finally, in course nine, you'll go through a comprehensive coding interview preparation, kind of peppering you with the most common backend development questions that you could get in interviews and telling you how an appropriate way to handle those would be to best position yourself for the job. So is the Meta Backend Development Professional Certificate worth it? Well, there are four steps to answer that question for yourself. Set expectations, evaluate your circumstances, choose your path, and leverage your tools. Let's talk through this as it relates to this course's value. One, set expectations. What do you personally expect out of taking this course? Is it going to get you a job offer that you've been grinding for and this is the breakthrough. Well, not in and of itself. And if someone is telling you that, you should really be cautious about listening to them any further. But this is a good stepping stone towards that path. Are you going to become an expert after five months of doing this? No, you're not either, but you will have a good competent understanding. You should have a lot of confidence going further into this field. Ask yourself if you're willing to use this as a stepping stone, not the final destination. Evaluate your circumstances and ask yourself if this is the best use of your time. You may need to test for seven days for free to see if it's really worth it yourself or if it gets you going in the right direction. You have to understand that college is going to have a higher job placement rate than this course will, but it's four years and it's expensive. Boot camps can provide more proven results, but they're also more expensive and can be more time consuming as well. This might be the right combination of expense plus time commitment, and you have to see if the intended result that you're going for matches your goals. Choose your path, back end, full stack, front end, which way do you want to go? What is the next best step you can make? And leverage your skills. If you decide to pursue this, maximize your impact from this. Take advantage of the certificate on LinkedIn Use the meta job board. Use this as a story that you can tell in interviews using your interview tips to answer those questions as to the self starter that you are and how that translates into being a great future backend web developer. If you got this far, you probably just want my opinion and I'll give that to you right now. In conclusion, for the right person, it's absolutely worth it. If you are a beginner, 
there is almost no combination of credibility, skill buildup you can get from this at a price of $49 a month that's self-paced so you can go as fast or as slow as you'd like. The biggest thing I like about this course in addition to the price point is that it actually teaches skills that are used today in front end development. So very, very relevant course material. If you have any questions or want to comment on your own experience having gone through this course, please do so down below in the description. Thanks again for watching this video. We're racing to 10,000 subscribers, so I'd love if you'd help us get there on the channel. I appreciate every single one of you subscribed to this channel. Thank you so much and have a great day.